Hi there, welcome to Pro Tools Professional. My name is Brent Heber, and in this tutorial video, I'm just going to walk you through how simple it is to calibrate your home studio or video suite to the audio levels that are generally adhered to in the professional uh, mix studios. Now, for television work um, and for editing suites where it's a smaller room um, for, um, for sound level, you would generally uh, set your speakers and calibrate your speakers to 79 dB uh, decibels sound pressure level scale. So 79 dB SPL would be the calibrated level for each speaker in a small room. As you get to larger rooms, you're moving more air, so you need to calibrate to a larger level. That's why in the big mix theaters, they tend to calibrate to 85 decibels. Um, in smaller pre-mixing rooms, it might be anywhere between 80 and 82 decibels, uh, but for small home studios or edit suites, you generally want to work somewhere around 78 or 79 dB uh, to have your mixes translate either to television or to film. So if you're making music for a, a short film or, or music for a TV series, it's a good idea to calibrate your studio to 79 dB. Um, that way when you're handing over your projects, they should slot straight into the mix for the guy, who's a guy or woman who is responsible for the mix. So the process is very simple. We basically just pull up a mono track um, and insert a signal generator on it. And the settings for your signal generator have to be correct for the calibration process. So they should be set to pink noise at minus 20. If you're in, um, in Australia, we work to minus 20. So 20 dB of headroom here. And so that's 20 decibels of dynamic range in your mix. So if you think of it, this is saying that minus 20 is where the average level of your mix should be sitting, uh, which means that you wouldn't be calibrating at minus 20 with the pink noise on peak. You actually want it to be on the RMS value. So it's measuring minus 20 RMS. So make sure that you change over the signal generator to RMS because the default setting is peak. You want it to be on uh, minus 20 decibels RMS. So now that you've got your signal generator set up like, uh, like this, you have the fader at unity, you pull it over to one side to the left hand speaker, we unmute it, and then we use a sound pressure level meter to register, to turn up our speakers until they read, or turn down our speakers, until they read 79 decibels on the sound pressure level meter at the mix position. So you hold the sound pressure level meter in the same place when you are reading both the left and the right hand speakers. Um, now the settings on your sound pressure level meter also have to be correct. They should be registering with the C weighting curve uh, and they should be using a slow response time uh, so that you can then measure the 79 decibels. So here's a typical uh, Radio Shack sound pressure level meter and you hopefully will be able to see the settings there for it where you can choose between A and C weighting, slow and fast response, uh, and you've got a meter there which allows you to read uh, exactly when you've got your speakers pinned to 79 dB. So as long as your sound pressure level meter is using these settings and your signal generator is using these settings and you're consequently getting minus 20 RMS registering on your master output when we unmute it, you should be in good shape. So let's just go through that process. I'm just going to unmute my pink noise, turn up my speakers till they're at 79 dB and uh, calibrate them. Okay, so the left hand speaker is fine. I'll just double check that the left and right are both set to the same gain. Which they are. And now I know that my speakers have been set to the correct level for me to be mixing with. Now, if you have um, a typical audio interface that doesn't have uh, dented pots for the output, you may want to mark the position of that, uh, the of the knob with a, um, permanent marker or a texture of some sort, just so that you know that that is the level you should be mixing at. For my workflow, I tend to leave my uh, 003 output always set to the same level, and I just use a trim plugin on my master fader, so I'm always working at 79 dB from, through the 003, through my speakers, and if at any reason I want to turn the volume down a little bit, I can just pull the fader down on my trim plugin um, and then keep working. And that will allow me to pull it down if it's late at night or what have you. So just to recap, sound pressure level meter should be on C weighting, slow response. You can use an analog uh, meter like this one from Radio Shack, or you can even use your iPhone. 
Uh, there's a bunch of free apps out there. Uh, this is a free SPL meter that I downloaded about a year ago and it seems to be pretty close. It certainly is within a decibel because it's calibrated to the iPhone uh, microphone. And you can see on this it also has the slow and fast response options and the C weighting curve on it. And it fairly clearly indicates when you're working at 79 uh, dB so that you can calibrate fairly easily. So. Hopefully that information is useful, certainly if you're doing music for television or for film or sound editing at home or what have you for, for a short film um, or a TV show, you should be working at, in a calibrated environment. Definitely calibrate your speakers to 79 dB or, or thereabouts um, and good luck with your endeavours and hopefully this little tutorial video has been useful. Uh, my name is Brent Heber, thanks for visiting Pro Tools Professional.